Here we go. On this episode, we're giving you some of our best buffalo hunting highlights of all time. Hold on, because there's going to be some up close and personal Cape Buffalo shots guaranteed to get your adrenaline pumping and your trigger finger itching for some action. Presented by Global Rescue. There when you need them most. First up is chasing a dandy of a Cape Buffalo bull in Zimbabwe. Just get on the sticks in case we get a clear shot. Alan. Yeah, yeah. There's actually a good bull in front of that cow. He's moving towards that next gap. Do you see it? Did you see that next gap to the yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, he's moving into it now. There he stops, he's looking at us. Uh, you can go through. If you move to your left a little, you, you'll get a shot at that. Okay, okay, we're clear that. That's him looking at us. You see him? Take him on the shoulder, he's gonna move. inches off on your shot placement at Cape Buffalo, you can be in for one long, hellish day. <laughs> it is, I'm going. <laughs> Looks like he's had enough. I think he's finished. What do you think there, Steve? Yep, I think he's done. Alan, just make sure there. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Beautiful. That might that might be the longest we've ever had to chase a buffalo that I thought was dead on his feet on the first shot, huh? The bullet's on that other side. But when, when he was out there and he started to move away from that tree, like on the camera, they're probably gonna see that they can see the head and the shoulders and everything. Yeah, yeah. But I was just to the left. So when you guys were going, he's wide open. He wasn't wide open for me. I'm like, no, he's not. And then, well, I, then I moved to the left to try and get that angle, and that's right when he started to take off, and I got him one, and... You did very well. Thank goodness for swift ammunition, man. <laughs> it's just... What an incredible old bull. Look at this. Those bosses are something else, huh? All beautiful, worn beautiful. off and rubbed up, and great sweep. And with, this is a dynamite bull. So we go from Zimbabwe to the Salu Game Reserve of Tanzania. Check this bull out. Go down? Yeah. Oh, he's behind that ant hill. He's behind that ant hill. Do you want to use this? 
Here comes Woody. Woo! Well done. <laughs> this is not a salute, Buffalo. <laughs> this just shows you the quality of Buffalo at Mkwawa Safaris. I mean, this is insane. Well, I guess well done, Alan. Excellent. Good Thanks. job. Yeah, that was good great. Shot. Good guy, good man. Shot. You're doing a good job. Good that shot. was awesome. Good shot. Excellent. It's a beautiful Yeah, bowl. what a beautiful really, bowl. Really beautiful. Look at the bush. And then how wide it is, yeah. huh? And it carries it all the way out here. Absolutely. The drop is and he's still got his hooks and everything, and yeah. he's all by himself. Well, excellent. Well done again. Thanks. At least we can have some beer tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they will have a little Good movie now. <laughs> Ooh, that was great. Let's join one of the great African PHs now, Dylan Clute, for some incredible double trouble action. Shoot, walk in front. Just keep walking, the one at the back. Just keep walking. I don't know what it is. There's just something about Hunt and Buff when you get into this Mopani forest like this. It's exciting because you can see them and there's kind of some cover, but there's not really that much cover, you know what I mean? A good hit. Just watch him. Uh, he's he's yeah. down. He's down. Come, come, come. He's down. But watch that other bull. Is that? Uh, is that? Just wait, 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 wait. He'll move. The tree's right on his shoulder. Old, old, old bulls there. Mm. This guy, he's got no teeth left. He's got poor condition for such good grass already. <laughs> A double on buffalo. You don't do that every day. <laughs> no. I mean, two old guys hanging out together up here in this flat like this. Already starting to wear everything off. Look at how old he is, huh? That is a gnarly old dog boy right there. You know, in Rugged X, we've done a lot of crazy things through the years. But shooting two buffalo about five minutes apart from each other is probably right up there as one of the wackiest things we've ever done. As if it's not enough adrenaline to whack one, this other guy, he decided that he was not going to leave his old compadre behind, so he came back. We tried to shoo him away. He wasn't going to go anywhere. Then we got a good look at him and said, hey, he's not too bad. We got an extra license. Let's take him while we got him. I mean, why leave Buffalo to go find some other Buffalo? Beautiful place to do it, out in these open woods. I mean, 
Buffalo hunting just doesn't get any better than this. Some of the toughest buff hunts are when you have to track a lone, wily, mean old bugger. And I'm not talking about me. I mean tracking an old bugger that's got horns. I mean, finally, these tracks look like they're, and that last, they're hot. Huh? That last um, bit of dung is hot. Hot steaming dung. If this wind will stay like this, we're good. As long as he keeps going like that. We got it coming like this. Yeah. I just worry if he goes over the edge there, Alan, and he goes down the other side, the wind's going to get him. Alan, these tracks, I mean, he's just, he's been on this path for a few minutes now. I think let's try and push before he gets off the hill into that thick stuff by the river. We can catch him while he's still out here. Down, very good. Come. Okay, I just couldn't hear that you were on, so I finally shot. Melara, can you my jab? Right here. You're sleeping in this water here, <laughs> and they jumped out here. There he is. Is he there? Pig up. Well done, sir. <laughs> Thank you. What a great bull, huh? Old, huh? Sana. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. Good tracking, man. Good job. That's the kind of bull that you hear the stories about where you track and track and track and you don't know what's going to happen. and You go through all that thick stuff. Then you come up on the plateau and you're walking and walking and walking and you're thinking, he's long gone. And then when we finally found that last heap of doo-doo back there yeah. that was still hot, I thought, well, at least we're getting close. And then as we came up over that ridge, like it's wide open grass just like this, and he just jumped up. I don't know if we got it on the camera or not, but he jumped up and he was laying in a pond the whole time. And the grass covering the side of the pond, he was hiding behind <laughs> and he jumped up at like 20 yards. That was incredible. Well, look at this bull. He doesn't even have hair on him anymore. He's bald as a cucumber. Probably a hell of a bull in his day, you know? I mean, he's a huge body, like the, the distance yeah. from his, you know. With his. Yeah. We got the chance to hunt with the man himself, Adam Clements, in his Maswa area one season, going after a bull with the absolute widest spread I've ever seen. Yeah, he's facing away from us. Man, in that bush, he's looking away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. That's him, yeah. We need him to turn to a bit, huh? Yeah. Have the guys, have the guys come back right here. Joe, Joe, hey, come doing? back. Let me get it. I'm going to try and bring him here.
Wait. What a bull. End of the day. It's not very often you get him this late at night. The light was fading. We saw this great bull hiding in some bushes. Tried to do the sneaky sneak on him, but off he went. Followed him, followed him, followed him. Got on top of him again. Off he went again. He was by himself. That was the good news. The bad news was he was by himself and looking at us the whole time. But we finally got to where he was facing away from us, looking back on his track and we circled back around. And that's when the action started. I had one little hole in those trees that I snuck a bullet in. Shooting that 577 with the open sights, it's always difficult in those dark conditions, but he was in a good spot where I could let him have one when he turned and was facing us. He's got a couple extra shots in him. You know, you always wanna make sure when it comes to Buffalo that you give him a couple, even if they are 577s. I mean, what the hell? Now this is something you don't see very often. Here's a bullet that's wedged in this buffalo's horn. I mean, how it got there, I have no clue. I never had a shot at him where he was facing away. The only thing I can think of is the bullet must have gone through his back here when his head was turned and it ended up lodged here or else somebody else might have shot him earlier. Adam Clements and the whole gang has done a fantastic job for us once again. The quality of the animals here is unbelievable. I mean, we've been seeing good buffalo day after day, but when you finally see a dandy like this, I mean, look at that horn sweep and those bosses, huh? I mean, it's the bull of a lifetime, the bull of your dreams right here in Tanzania. Another hunt with Adam was for a massive bull who was actually hanging out with a herd of all great Cape Buffalo bulls. Curl up to that log. Have a better shot. I think I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna take my 375. That's a bit of a poke for Alex. Okay. I mean, we can give it a try, but I don't want him to go back into this brush. If I wound him, he's gonna get this thick crap. Yeah, yeah use your 375. Don't, don't let me get that. on the left. He's he's got he's real wide but he doesn't seem to drop. I think this one here. Yeah, the one on the right's the best one. First one. <laughs> oh, look at the other one's coming back. Holy crap, what the? Look at him trying to pick him up. I have never seen that before. Beating up the dead buddy. Let's go see if we walk up there if they'll 
run away. If not, then I'll call the car. Let's go see. Too happy about losing their patriarch here. Well, here comes Muddy too. He wants to get in the action. Yeah. Awesome. No, no, thank you, man. That was awesome. What a nice buff, huh? What a bull. You know, buffalo hunting never gets old. And Tanzania is for sure the honey hole for buffalo hunting. Adam Clements and the whole crew have just put on a fabulous safari. To get an old, old bull like this that's hard, you can see he's all beat up. I mean, he's done breeding. He's the kind of bull you want to take when you're over here in Africa. And he's a really good, really good buffalo. Classic Serengeti shape. What more can you ask for? You like big bulls with sweeping horns that drop down low before curling way back up? Look at this incredible beast. We could see a couple bulls that looked like they might be shooters, so. We thought it was all over, but apparently it's not. But we still got to go across this open ground, so we'll see. Yes. It's a younger bull in front of him. That younger one's on. Holy crap. Yeah, that's the one you want. The one with the big drops, you mean? Yep, that's the one you want. I wonder if we can get him to sort out Sunday. It's facing to the left. On our side. Right in the middle of the head. Facing to the left. The one right in front of him just faced to the right. Just put his head down, might as well. Uh -huh. Now he's looking at us. Okay, he's the one walking right out, right in the chest. All right, you guys ready? Let's wait and see what he does. You know, even though we think he went down in this tall stuff here, you know, this is nothing to mess with with these bulls like this, especially a frontal shot. Sometimes you'll get that penetration, you know, hit spine, rake them the length. I love the 375 with those swift bullets in them because you get great penetration with it and still a lot of expansion, but you know, now we got to go in and make sure he's dead. And this is the part of buffalo hunting that you always read about. That's a proper buffalo right there. That is a buffalo. Look at this bull. Huh? Look at the bosses. That's the part that's so impressive with him. And we'll see his drop here how much he just comes right down like this and then sweeps back up. And that's what was so impressive when he was in that herd and he makes those steps forward and he's got his head like that and you can see that big, huge drop. Wow. Boy, by the looks of that shot too, that old uh, 375 Gunworks skull did the trick once again. Holy, he didn't go too far after that. What is this, 50, 60 yards? Maybe? Wow. Old, look at him, he's all beat up from fighting. Whew. I just can't get enough of this. This 
This is about the funnest thing you can do with your pants on. I'm telling you. <laughs> Out here in the wide open too. That was nice that that little clump of grass was right there. That as we did the stock, you know, it was there. We could kind of get behind it. They were definitely switched on, though. They knew we were all there. They were. That's why I had to walk out of the herd to show you which one to shoot. <laughs> Another great bull here with Adam Clement Safaris in Moyawasi. And we got the whole team assembled because I wanted to mention how when you come to Africa, it really is a team effort. I mean, lots of times you just see me and Adam shooting the bulls, but everybody's involved in it. And they all do a great job on the tracking. We got the game scout who's doing a great job. Everybody's just done super. And it really does take the Rugged X team to make this all happen. It's just not a one-man show. So let's give them all the Rugged X. Should we be ready? Rugged X, baby. Woo! Woo! Buffalo hunting in Africa. It's what we do. You know I love Cape Buffalo hunting. So stay tuned, because in the near future, there's more to come. Because I plan on hunting Cape Buffalo for the rest of my life.